Hey, welcome! Today I'll be attempting to make a hangboard. If you don't know what a hangboard is, basically it's the equipment that climbers use to strengthen their finger and become stronger climber. I ordered one through REI, but with the quarantine situation, it was going to take forever to get here. So I've decided to save some money and handcraft my own out of this 8x4 that I was about to throw away anyways. I haven't climbed in about two months and I'm sure I've gotten a lot weaker. It is time to make some changes. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking off the edge. It's a little bit too long, so I need to make it a little bit shorter to fit my uh, hand range. And next thing is I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing in terms of uh, measurements. I still don't know, so I'm here just kind of like doing a quick uh, sketch. And next thing you know is I'm getting this tape that you see here, and I'm trying to figure out whether I want to do some pull-up handles or not. And I, you know, might as well do it so I can get some extra work in here. Basically, using the skill saw to shape it up. I'm going to have two different grips for pull-ups, so I'll be having a short grip and a wide grip. So now that I got this basically to where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and start sending it down. I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper here. I don't want it to be super fine, smooth. I just want a little bit of roughness to it. It's not terrible. You know, you're not getting any splinters or anything like that. And then the next step is to go ahead and actually mark what I'm going to be taking off. Okay, so let's get this angle right first of all. Let's see, maybe kind of here we go. Yes, okay. So once uh, we get the sauce run through several times, we're gonna go ahead and use the chisel and just kind of wiggle around and uh, the parts will come off pretty easy. And we're gonna run this through the chisel through a couple times to kind of take all the excess wooden parts off. And next, we're gonna go ahead and readjust again the angle. So let's see here pretty good you're gonna be able to see when I'm running this saw with this uh, straight edge that I have obviously I don't have a table saw so it makes it a little bit harder I have to readjust every single time and so here we go ripping it through this is half an inch so I am doing this maybe like four or five times and uh, this is the last one that I'm working on right now so this is all you're gonna see just the process of how it's done so once I get it all done here, I believe this is one more. That's it. Uh, we're gonna go to use the chisel again, wiggle around. It'll come off pretty easy. Again, take off the excess. And we're gonna get ready to start sanding with uh, the pants, which is a little piece of hand. Uh, I mean, it's the same kind of paper, sanding paper. So it's just gonna be folded and make it fit into the small cracks. And so we're gonna give it all, all of them a pass through and we are moving forward. Now here, the, it's all finished smooth. We're gonna go ahead and use the black charcoal that I'm using here. I decided to go with that. I actually really like the way it turned out on pine wood. So I think I'll be using it more on pine wood. But uh, all I'm doing here is just soaking it with it and then going back with a dry cloth and just wipe it off. So well, the next step is to apply a finish to it. Um, I really like the linseed oil that I've used before. It's just a clear finish, uh, nothing glossy, no shine to it. And that's what I'm looking for here. So the process here is basically you apply it, um, apply a pretty good amount. You let it sit for 20 minutes. You come back with a dry cloth and just wipe off all the excess. This first hole here is the one inch hold. There's no reason on the range. This one is half an inch, and then the next one is three quarters of an inch. There's no reason on the order. I just did it that way just because. 
Okay, so let's mount it finally. So here I'm using two by four, so I've already got the measurements to where it's gonna be the proper height for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill this two by fours and then use the screws, the size of the screws that I need to attach to shield them. And uh, that's gonna be really more than enough to hold my weight. Um, I don't know how much weight it holds, but I can tell you that it holds a lot of weight. Simply because it's got the 2x4s and a good amount of screws and then it's gonna go into another 2x4 so you know that it's not going anywhere. Um, so here I'm just gonna sand, off, sand the edges off a little bit so it's not super rough just in case I end up touching them somehow. Uh, I don't want to get any splinters on my hands. And let's see, double check, yes, that is a good height. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, First, just kind of like put it up there with a um, a clamp and just clamp it so it can help me hold it since I'm working here by myself and then I got my nail gun ready to go also to hold, help it hold it in place once I, I kind of got it like figured out. And so here we go. Let's find somewhat of a proper position. Uh, I'm just kind of like, I don't want it to be too close to that right post. And I just need a little bit of space there. And that seems to be good there. Just gonna tie it up a little bit. And then come back and start this screwing. I'm gonna pre-drill it first. I don't, I don't want to just screw into it. I don't want to mess up my two by fours. Um, they can crack if you don't pre-drill sometimes. All right, it is finally mounted. Let's go ahead and give it a good test. First thing I'm gonna do is hop into the pull-up bar. Um, the first thing I found out is that those uh, pull-up holds are a little bit too rough on the edges still, so they hurt my hands. I still got to go back and uh, sand the edges off a little bit more. But other than that, we are golden. I'm testing here the one inch hold and it is pretty good. Honestly, I did a pretty good job. I'm pretty excited. I'm just pretty weak, so I got some work to do. Let's get to it. 